What's going on everyone? It's Rick here. You're watching Scale Car Models and I got just one more update here before I get this all put together. Got a decent amount of work today. I don't know, I spent maybe an hour or two working on it, but I got a big step. Uh, the interior is pretty much done. I just need to... Let's see, I got the shifter painted there. And uh, it's not glued in, but I got it to where I do need to trim down this bottom piece here, but I can pretty much stick it in there and it's force fit so I don't have to worry about gluing it. I try to use the minimum amount of glue as possible in case I ever decide to go back and, you know, restore any of these kits or I end up getting rid of them and somebody else wants to restore it. I don't want it to be a glue bomb, so that's that. And then I got the, I just glued this together a few minutes ago, finished it up. It's not perfect, but like I said, you're not going to see much of it from the outside when the windows and everything are in, but you've got the chrome gauges in there, the steering rack, or the steering shaft, I guess, whatever you want to call that, and the uh, wood grain steering wheel. So there's that. Then I got the other, uh, I think that's a brake handle there. I got that painted flat black at the bottom. Uh, the axle here is complete. This is the front axle. This is just about complete. I don't think I really need to do anything else on that. This truck's going to look a little bit used, but for the most part, I mean, it's all going to be black. So, And then this is kind of what I was doing for the grill. This is just a piece of tape to hold it on, if anybody's wondering. Um, but I painted it silver, flat silver, I believe it was. And then I went over it with a mechanical pencil there didn't really come out like I wanted it to. I do have a few other grills. I have another stock and then I have two custom ones because I bought two of these kits so I might end up redoing this but there's that and I'd have to detail a little V8 here on the top with some chrome silver paint and uh, then of course the radiator here. Like I said it's not perfect but you're not going to be able to see it. I mean I might detail it up just a little bit more and I did touch up the last little bit on the chassis so this is done and I'm just gonna build this all up to be just a cabin chassis for the moment and then I'll work on scratch building the fifth wheel for it because uh, I have decided that I want to build a trailer for this but being that this is so much smaller than just about every other kit out there because it's an old you know 1930s truck or car vehicle I should say uh, it's quite a bit smaller than what you see today, so the trailer is going to have to be scratch built for the most part. See if I can find something to base off the, the chassis off of so it makes it a little easier to keep things square and all that. But yeah, so I haven't really decided on what the fifth wheel or maybe it's going to be just a ball hitch style thing that goes on the top. I'm not sure really, but like I said, once I get it all together and everything, then we'll, we'll go from there. But if you, anybody was wondering what I'm using here just to hold all this together, I just use the... the to me an extra fine glue and while you do have to hold it for a little bit uh, it creates a really good bond and I like how they have the little brush in there really nice glue and then to tape things off oh yeah I did get this done here as well so that's done I do need to detail like the latches and stuff like that but I'll save that for the very end because it's going to take you know quite a small brush to do all that without messing it up so I'll get everything else done before I do that and then whenever I need to tape anything off I just use this so to me I make some amazing products I hope to buy some of their models soon do some uh, reviews for you guys so that is the updates everything else is the same as you saw it so basically just a little bit more painting guys and uh, be assembly time so I do need to pick up something for doing the uh, I know testers have some clear stuff for doing the windows I'm definitely going to get that because I've seen quite a few people use super glue and stuff like that and end up messing them up so I don't want to take that chance and yes I know I need to do another thin coat of this uh, gun metal over here try to get this as smooth as I can because I am hand painting this whole thing so but it shouldn't come out too bad it's supposed to look old and back then they didn't have you know amazing paint jobs on them they just used pretty much enamel paint and I wouldn't doubt at one time they were actually just rolled on with a roller so yeah, guys, there's the update. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, rate, comment, let me know what you guys think, and subscribe if you haven't already. And lots more videos to come.